Okay, here's a flow chart of how the lack of run works. Um, let's say initially that there's no glucose and no lactose. Under these conditions, the lack of run would be Under these conditions, the lack operon is not expressed, and the reason for that is upstream of the lack operon there is a gene called the lack I gene, and this is constitutively expressed, meaning that it's just always on, but it happens to be on at a low level. And this gene constantly creates a protein called the repressor. This repressor gene binds onto the lac operon on a place called the operator. It basically recognizes the sequence of the operator and sticks onto it. So it sticks onto the lac operon forming a lac forming a lac operon plus repressor complex. And this stops RNA polymerase from sticking onto the, the DNA, which stops transcription. So let's make a um, if statement here. So is lactose present? If the answer is no, then we just keep the same state. The repressor doesn't detach. But if we do have lactose, then lactose in the cell turns into allolactose. And allolactose is a co repressor. It, it binds onto the repressor, forming a repressor plus co-repressor complex and this complex the co-repressor um, change, changes the shape of the repressor and it causes it to detach of the DNA molecule which then allows which then allows um, RNA polymerase DNA of polymerase to stick on to the DNA and do transcription. So, so now the lac operon is expressed. However, lac operon's um, lac operon's promoter consensus sequence is very has a low match with. Um, RNA polymerase, meaning that RNA polymerase doesn't really attach very strongly to it. So the lac operon is expressed, but weakly. Yes. So this whole bit would be repression. Repression model of gene regulation okay so let's make a if statement for the presence of glucose is glucose present what happens if glucose is not present well if it's not then we just keep the current state i mean sorry um if it is then we keep the current state. We continue to express the lac operon and um, cleave lactose molecules, but the glucose, the glucose-related genes will be expressed much more strongly. So glucose metabolism will be dominant. But if it's no, then what we want to do is have the lac operon kick into overdrive to compensate. For the lack of glucose, because the cell needs like 
needs a lot of nutrients, right? So we much must ramp up production. Okay. So what happens when there's low glucose? Elsewhere in the cell, we'll have low glucose levels, which causes high levels of cyclic AMP. And this binds to a protein called CAP. So CAMP binds to CAP. And CAP is a protein. CAP is a um a like it's an activator. It when it's activated and binds to the DNA, it encourages transcription. So transcription happens a lot more. So basically, when CAMP binds to CAP, it um it activates this activator. It makes it able to attach to DNA. Okay, so attaches to a site on the DNA called a CAP site. No. Okay, so it attaches to the CAP site. So the lac operon now has a CAP activator on it and this this encourages RNA polymerase to stick onto the thing so the expression of this gene significantly goes up okay and this section of the flowchart we will call positive positive regulation because positive is sort of like by analogy jamming on the accelerator on a car if you if it's on then it lets the car move faster whereas repression is negative regulation like consider it to be the brakes on a car if you turn on the brakes then that will decrease the DNA transcription. So that's basically it. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. This is my first video. Um, if I've done any wrong then don't hesitate to leave a message and I'll try to correct it. Okay, see ya.